Hey, um, this is NGB, N N B N B R G B combination, and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's uh, six forty-nine a.m. I'm going to bed. Hope it looks good. Thanks for watching. Good morning and good night. Okay, it is the evening time and I have clear skies later um, after 8 o'clock. Time right now is 11.24, the 23rd of March. And this is my setup using, um, what is it called, NB RGB combination in Pix Insight. I'll be using broadband with HA, as you can see there five minutes on HA and all three minutes on RGB. And my guiding. My guiding is a total RMS error of 1.68, 1.68, that's good. I'm happy with that, that will work. Again, I use the trend lines enabled so that at a higher scale of 400 and a higher scale of 16, I got a clear straight line. Um, if I use the lower values, I can see the RA and deck parallel with the half line mark. Let me uh, switch that and show you. Let me just go to four and go down to uh, 200. As you can see, the blue and the, and the red pretty much straight across for a history going forward. So. When I can have a history going forward all up to 400 and a 16 of a scale, smaller size, it looks pretty good. So I adjusted these, I adjusted the RA aggression and the deck aggression up and down to make sure that the lines go parallel with the half line mark. Okay, for the RGB side of red, I got the means of 12. 84 histogram non stretch. I'm still below the half mark tank right there. And uh, let's see what it looks like. This is the red side. Let's do an auto stretch, auto stretch high. Oh, this is gonna look good. Look at that. That's at one, that's at 180. Uh oh. Someone just sent me a Facebook message. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So let me zoom in, 25%. And my stars are pretty round. How I know it's round? I got, I got star fractions. And at 25%, that's pretty round enough for me. Wow, that's gonna look good. And narrow band RGB combination and picks in sight. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, about the uh, Pinwheel Galaxy, Messier 101. It's way up there at declination of 54 plus, which is very good. 
and uh, it has a distance of 20 million light years away. Now, Messier 101 is a high magnitude of 7.86, so it's going to come out pretty good with uh, broadband and uh, if you want to do HA, hydrogen alpha. So it will look pretty good when it shows up for post processing. And there it is in the Earth's Major. You're going to find a whole lot of galaxies in the Earth's Major. I mean, you right if you go diagonally across the from the bottom of the pan of the pan handle to the lid to the lid, you'll find the cigar and uh, Bode's galaxy right over there. Top and bottom of the handle, right there, top and bottom, you have the Pinwheel Galaxy and the Whirlpool Galaxy. I mean, this it's loaded with uh, with just galaxies in Ursa Major. If I were to zoom in, oops, back up a second here. I'm gonna make these videos short to the point. So. There is my pinwheel right there. Can you see that? And if you go underneath it, underneath the pinwheel, you're going to find uh, the whirlpool. Come on. Oh, there. And the sunflower galaxy right over there. And the whirlpool is right there. See that? So up from the top of the handle to the bottom of the handle, there's a whirlpool galaxy right there. See it? So there's lots of galaxies to shoot in the Ursa Major constellation. Hey, um, this is NGB, N NB, NB RGB combination. And all the settings that I had for one hour of HA, one hour RGB, uh, it didn't really pan out the way I would because I had airplanes flying over my telescope and uh, it was partly cloudy, so it was pretty bad. Um, here I used uh, from Pix Insight, used TVG noise and I use curve transformation dynamic crop but overall um, I hope it looks good and uh, I'm gonna wrap it up it's uh, 6 49 a.m. and uh, I'm going to bed <laughs> hope it looks good Thanks for watching. Good morning and good night.